गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एस्टीम फैकल्टी गेस्ट एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली आर यंग माइंड आई एम गायत्री दुआ वेलकम टू एन इवेंट दैट इज नथिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी वॉकिंग अमंग द स्टार्स इट्स इन डीड अजर टू वेलकम Uh, all of you to this walking amongst the stars uh, it's even bigger pleasure to uh, have with us group captain angad and uh, najmonot haza angad pratap is the astronaut on the gaganyaan the indian human space flight program the gaganyaan and uh, astronaut or najmonot haza has already been uh, to space before so uh, before we move on to more technical questions and more uh, we take a more deeper dive into space exploration i just wanted to ask you like what inspired each of you to become an astronaut and especially for you haza and has your idea of space flight changed since you actually experienced it so uh, in fact uh, on the way to the iit uh, me and haza we were having a small chat in the car and we were just discussing that Uh, to be able to uh, travel to space or uh, to aviate uh, basically uh, to become a pilot or an astronaut it's not as much a dream uh, for all of us uh, to get inside a cockpit or uh, perform the actual role of an astronaut but there's a kind of a dreamer and uh, explorer in all of us i think there is some kind of science in me which i would like to contribute and develop so i applied for the test pilot program which is pretty uh, tough in fact is the toughest course in the indian air force one of the reasons why i wanted to do that was that when the astronaut program will open up uh, test pilots would be given preference so it was always there and uh, i did the test pilot course in 2016 and 2018 the prime minister announced uh, the uh, program and that's it so first of all thank you for having me here so it's really great pleasure to be among our uh, um, you guys here in india this is my first time to india and I'm, i love it it's uh, cooler than dubai by the way <laughs> so uh, i love it so uh, space uh, is, is a fascinating thing to all of us it's in our dna to explore it's in our dna to 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 know what is beyond stars we explore the the, the land here on in our uh, mothership earth and we want to explore space uh, for me uh, to talk about uae program for haza um, the dream to go to space it was just a dream fantasy so uh, i remember when i was a kid looking uh, watching or uh, watching uh, like movies star wars and star trek that's only my 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 uh, my only uh, i would see frontier that's the max it's a, been an amazing journey for me so i flew back in 2019 uh, with a soyuz uh, Uh, vehicle uh, it was a s- uh, about a week mission for for me it was very short week oh my god so being up there for a week uh, it was a busy schedule for me a lot of experiments a lot of things but it changed my mindset the only thing that always that uh, stuck with me the whole process and after i came from the flight is is the appreciation the appreciation to what we have here on ground we had russians americans uh, one italian uh, japanese so It's just amazing concept there, and uh, we are coming with different ethics, mindsets, religion, uh, everything. But we are always feel like the united. I remember the, when I looked from the window, from Cuba, looking at Earth. Uh, the first thing that I want to see is my country, <laughs> obviously. So, so I was looking for that, and then after a while, like I felt like uh, the whole Earth is is my country. It's it's amazing. There's no borders. There's nothing there that is like dissolving. So it's 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 uh, we felt that we are all representing all of you on board the station. I uh, wanted to be an astronaut since I was young. So I actually don't know where my inspiration came from. It's something I've always known I wanted to be. Um, so I was born in Denali. and my very earliest memories is uh sleeping outside and looking at the stars so i was think back and maybe that's the reason <laughs> uh it was hot so i was sleeping outside but uh so i i think that was the reason that i initially wanted to be an astronaut of seeing earth from space um it felt like an out of body experience it felt like someone ripped me from myself and i was looking back at myself cuz looking at the planet which is everything we know, every person we know, every experience and every thought we've ever had had been on that planet. 
looking at it from space was uh, empowering. It made me feel it made me feel very small, but it did not make me feel insignificant. So I felt very, very inspired coming back to Earth to do more with my life. My name is Shashir and I'm working on the field of hypersonic flows. My question is related to the collaboration between the government agencies like NASA and ISRO with the private agencies like the uh, SpaceX. So how do you see the technological inno uh, innovations, acceleration in the technological fields as well as reducing the mission cost when we, whenever we are going to collaborate with the government agencies with the private companies? Yeah, <laughs> I'll just say from my perspective um, that this is a turning point that you'll see more and more, and I'll just say maybe from the US side also, uh, more and more collaboration, because the government's role is doing the things that commercial can't yet do, because there's no market, but as, and that's what ISRO is doing, leading the way, doing the audacious hard things that soon can be transitioned to commercial. So we're seeing some of that transition happening with SpaceX uh, in the US, with Virgin Galactic, NASA is our, one of our main customers. So uh, it is never you know, government or commercial, it's government and commercial, and it's, it's a way to move forward step by step. Uh, in preparation for this event, we were actually uh, coordinating with ISRO, the HSFC, and this has been over the last few months. As a teaser to this event, we organized a National Space Hackathon. The winners, they are here for uh, the felicitation to be done by the astronauts, the Stella team here. As we draw this spectacular event to a close, my heart is filled with gratitude. I need to thank a number of people who have been involved in making this day successful. I'm truly grateful to ISRO, to HSFC, to the GLEX, which invited us to participate in this event and make this event possible here at IIT Delhi. Our two teams from uh, Technical Clubs, Physics and Astronomy and Dev Club. So uh, for my team members from these two clubs, I can only say keep the flags flying high. <laughs>